This is a public announcement video in which I am going to perform a salvage claim on the word S-E-N, sen, i.e. sense. And the reason I'm doing this is because in the past there has been some question as to the positive performance capabilities of the word S-E-N as it's included in words such as sensation, sentient, or send and also sentence because if you notice in this fact correct sen for the correct sentence structure communication parsley syntax grammar we have an SEN here in this word we have an SEN here So I will announce now that if this salvage claim does anyone any harm or damage out there, contact me in the confidential of my email address, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com, within one year and one day, stating the damages that this salvage claim has done, giving the details of that, and also providing a solution to this situation of the word sentence as it's used within correct sentence structure communication parsley syntax grammar. Now what I'm going to do and what this salvage claim will accomplish is to give a positive prefer performance to the S-E-N as we use it within our language in the factual language of quantum grammar, i.e. correct sentence structure, communication parse syntax grammar. And at this time I'm going to splice in a small video explaining how I came to the parse of SEN. I'm going to show you the difference now between the particles SE and SEN. First, I'm going to give an example of what I mean. So we have the word secret, E-C-R-E-T. In this word, S-E performs as its own syllable. Therefore, in the parse of the word, we would parse S-E, and then we would parse C-R-E-T. And in this scenario, we look up the word secret in an etymology dictionary, and we find out that secret means from se without a part meaning no a particle of negation and in k-r-e-i to see discriminate distinguish distinguish separate as opposed to the syllable s-e-n as in sensation which is three syllables, S-E-N is a syllable unto itself. It is different than S-E. And the continuity of the evidence for that is in the etymology, sensation, a reaction to external stimulation of the sense organs. It comes from sense, going all the way back to 12th century perceive the later more negative meaning of sense came in the 1680s perceive a fact or situation not by direct perception that's not what the nativity meaning of it is so i'm performing a salvage on the sen i.e sense and i'll give a finite mean for that and the reason why I'm doing that is because SEN, as well as appearing in sensation, sentient, sen, etc., as its own syllable, it also appears in the word sentence. Before I go any further, I would also like to announce that this salvage claim is open source, which means 
It's open to the public to use as they wish. And now I would like to give an explanation for my finite mean for my salvage claim on the word SEN. And my finite mean of the word is for the SEN of the finite mean is with this claim of the port conduit of the dock or moor with the cargo of the cognition, cogitation, and certification by a claimant party. Backwards, for a claimant party of the cognition, cogitation, and certification is with the cargo of the dock or moor with the port conduit of this claim with the finite mean by the cent. What that is telling you, what I am conveying with that, is that the senses are a port. My perceptions come to me from the world. They come in through my sensations, the sensations of my senses, my port. And I, as the port authority of my vessel, take jurisdiction over that, over those cargoes of perceptions and in the docking of those cargoes I can formulate knowledge from those to transship out in my factual correct sentence structure claims. That is why I'm performing this salvage claim on the SEN. I hope this has provided closure for those of you out there who are seeking it Again, any questions, contact me in the confidential at my email address, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. Thank you for watching.